Hello and welcome to House by the Pool. In front of me is the pool with our lovely Spanish pool guy who is looking after it for us. And here we are with the house itself. It's two o'clock in the afternoon, so we are now getting some shade on the terrace. I'll just take you in through the gate. We have several seating and eating areas. It's a small bistro. Um, we have a range of plants as well. Struggling a bit with the wind here. Um, nice breezy day. It's actually a lovely uh, day at the beginning of July and there's beautiful cooling but very warm breeze. Um, sunshade there. So you've always got a uh, somewhere shady and somewhere sunny to sit. Some more of the garden and the barbecue. So plenty of room for relaxing and al fresco dining. Uh, these chairs are all recliner chairs, so you can put them back and enjoy the sun and put your feet up. And here's the main dining table. From lunch, from uh, late morning onwards, that does have plenty of shade. Uh, but full sun first thing in the morning. And as I said, today it's a little bit breezy, but that's a lovely feeling on a hot day like today. Coming in, uh, this is the entrance area. We here have, have Manuel. He's the house buddy. Um, and we do encourage you, if you've got children, to take Manuel out with you, or even if you haven't got children, take photographs of his exploits and post them on our Facebook page, which is House by the Pool. And into the kitchen, everything you need in the kitchen. Um, ceramic hob, oven and grill, obviously washing up since his microwave, kettle, coffee maker, and some more. Of the things you need. We do supply a welcome pack for when you arrive which has tea, coffee, sugar, milk uh, and a few other extras as well. And here we are in the lounge. I'll show you around. As you can see the ceiling fans are going and there is an aircon unit as well. The television does do um, a range of international channels, including all the major UK channels. And for those who like the music, we do have a music system and we do supply a range of DVDs, PS2 games and the PS2, um, and a few books and some CDs. Coming through into the inner hallway, uh, we just turn here. This is the smallest of the bedrooms. This one is a twin room. It will take a cot at a push. We do supply um, a cot and a high chair for those who uh, need them. And you can fit a cot in here, but we do actually usually recommend that you do that upstairs. And there's the big double wardrobe, so plenty of storage. And I'm not sure if we can get it, but they're out the pool. You can, out the window, you can see the pool from this window. In fact, you can see the pool from all outside spaces and nearly all the windows. Uh, this is the downstairs shower room. And there's the shower. It's a nice, easy access one for those who maybe need easier access into a shower lounge. And as we turn to go upstairs, as you can see the standard stairs, the Spain marble stairs. And up to the first floor, and entering the larger twin bedroom. Show you. Ceiling pan, aircon, 
you can fit three bed beds in this room and we do quite often set it up as a triple room for larger families. And again, out the window, a view of the pool. Again, another double wardrobe. Like in the lounge, we do have an additional fan up here for those who really want it, but with having aircon in every room and ceiling fans, it's not really an essential, but it's, it's there for people with that preference. And into the master bedroom. As you can see, there's plenty of room in here too to have an additional cot or bed if required and plenty of storage. This room has its own private balcony. So you have another small seating area. Just here, coffee table. And if I turn around, you'll see yet again, you have an excellent view of the pool. Coming back inside and into the bathroom. And again, a shower over the bath, full size bathtub. And coming back onto the landing, here we have the utility cupboard with a washing machine. Um, it's a 6 kg load, so it does take a family load. Moving up onto the second floor, again, marble stairs. There's an additional uh, washstand there, should you need it. There is a washing line out here. And onto the solarium. Oh. Here we have the outside lounge. Sunbathing and another small seating area. And unfortunately not the prettiest of things, but it does provide excellent TV, is the sat dish. And I'm not quite sure if you can pick it up, but there is a sea view there, um, just between the houses. And that sea view does go to go quite a long way round. And as always, another view of the pool. So just heading back indoors. When people stay at the house, they do have uh, towels supplied for use in the house. We do ask that you bring your own beach and pool towels, please. Coming all the way down to the ground floor now. Housewithpool.com is a fully legal registered holiday let. That's very important these days. And uh, all holiday lets should be registered and insured. And so we're back into the lounge and just to show you the official certificates that should be displayed in all holiday lets. Unfortunately, not everybody does. But that's very important that any holiday let that you have has those certificates. And there we are, back onto the terrace. Hope you enjoyed your tour of House Bunnipal.